First down. From the 10. Cook comes near side. Tabor is there and hit by Semalulu. And Tabor dives for the end zone. It's a touchdown for Santa Bex. Tabor absorbs contact, stays inbounds, dives for the end zone. And it's six points for St. Francis Xavier. Tabor's been getting hit all day by big hits, big shots. Semalulu's over there. Just can't handle the big fella. The big fella ends up staying inbounds, stops, and then dies for the end zone. What a beautiful catch. And a nice pass there by Cook as well. He had to put that in a very tight spot because you're not working with a lot of room between one, the end zone, to the DBs and the sideline. So a nice, well-executed throw by Cook and some great extra effort, individual effort by Tabor. No problem for Jeremy Ford on the point after 17 to 15, or yeah, 17 15 with 45 seconds remaining. Four X men to the near side. And what this does, this causes a little bit of confusion on the Acadia side. We see four guys over here, only two over here, and of course, they're just waiting to see what Ford does. They go to the far side, high into the air, tap forward out of bounds. Is that Santa Fe football? It is. An X-Men got up there and tapped it forward, and it is Santa Fe ball from the 53. So Roseway jumps up like a basketball player, goes up and tips that ball, knocks it out of bounds, gets possession for them, and this is a huge opportunity here for the X-Men. Why is it big? All Coach Cummins wants to do is get as much pressure as he possibly can on Ford. He needs as many white jerseys in Ford's face as he possibly can to try and throw him off. Distract him. Penetration is what they want and need. Nobody back, by the way, in the end zone because it really doesn't matter at this point. The X-Men have been victims of one miracle comeback earlier this year. Now trying to secure their own here on semifinal Saturday from the 36. It is up. It is good. St. Francis Xavier with five seconds remaining. Lead by a point. Five seconds still on the clock. The kick is good by Ford by 36 yards. So Coach Cummins for Acadia saying, hey, there's five seconds on the clock here. That should be a flag. And he might, they might actually well, they get have one play left. Four men on the far side, one on the near. Here comes Richards, goes long, looking for Brian Jones in triple coverage, stepped in, intercepted by Dylan Bell, and the St. Francis Xavier X-Men are off to the Loney Bowl. A comeback for the ages.